Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a zombie uh, face, and we're gonna go. We're gonna walk through it. I'm gonna walk you through it, um, pretty much step by step from what I'm doing, and we're gonna ink it. We're gonna do pencils and inks, and you're gonna learn a lot. So I really hope you enjoy this. A little bit slower paced than other ones uh, I do. So chill. Let's watch, and then hopefully you can watch it through to the end, and you can even join in. So let's get started. Ah, ah, ah. I love easy drawings. Easy drawings. I mean, technically this isn't that easy. So, I'm gonna start with a circle. It's really light. You probably can't see it until I throw the inks in there, but I'm gonna try to go through the pencil part pretty quick so we can go into it. I usually put a circle for the cranial mass. So if you look at a skull, there's, I think of it as like a circle for the, for like, again, where the brain case is. Obviously it's more of an oblong egg kind of shape, but for simplification, I make it a, just a circle on paper. Then I throw down, after I just draw a circle thin, throw down a thin line. Again, hopefully you can see that. If you can't, I apologize, we're gonna go through it. The line represents the center line of the face. You know, between, like if you were to draw a straight line down through, like I said, the between your eyes, and you, you wanna find that to see where things are gonna be placed. I pull a line downward into the jaw area just to give an estimation. And I pull back over here and to the side of the head. So it's gonna be turning, this zombie's gonna be turning that way a little bit, slightly. And that's called three quarter view. Three quarters turned a little bit to the left. Kind of like the way most portraits are done in, not all of them. Back of the neck here, back of the neck here. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna draw a line across and that's gonna represent the brow line, which is right above your eyes where the eyebrows are, generally. Doesn't always have to be where the eyebrows are, it's usually where that the, the brow bone kind of comes out and there's this poking, you know. It doesn't, it doesn't mean your eyebrow's right on it, but for a lot of people, it is where the eyebrow is. Um, I'm gonna throw another line down here for the nose, right below the nose. And generally what it is with a regular human face is that if you were to put a line up here, toward the top of the forehead, where the forehead starts to turn into the top plane. And then you put a line down here at the bottom of the chin, and you divide that into thirds. You're generally gonna hit the brow right here and the bottom of the nose. If that didn't make sense, ask me in the comments. I'll write it out, literally. Um, putting circular shapes here just to find the uh, just to find the eye socket shape, the eye sockets basically. I'm gonna put another circle over here just to find the ear. This, and keep in mind this might all, obviously it's, it's, it's subject to change, especially when we're doing kind of a zombie-esque thing going on here. Um, but yeah, so first thing I think of with a zombie, right? So let's just cross over into zombie territory then. <laughs> so. What I'm gonna be thinking is how damaged is he, how decayed is the zombie, right? It's a it's a guy, I'm gonna do a guy zombie. Um, is he, you know, is he, has he been lying there for a long time? Has he been decaying for, what, a few weeks? Or did he just die? Uh, was he killed naturally? Was he killed by other zombies? What is the damage to him? And then what is, you know, the aftermath of that damage where it starts rotting away? So for me, I think, I'm gonna try to border on maybe he was, maybe he died kinda, kinda naturally. No, that doesn't make sense. Maybe he was already dead, he died of whatever cause he did. Didn't damage his face. And let's say he was already dead, and then he came back from the dead, ooh, you know? But he, it, but uh, I would say he, he, I'm not gonna put any apparent damage to his face other than trying to rot it out. So I'm just thinking rotten and maybe damage just from being in the ground for so long. So I'm not gonna have any huge missing parts of the jaw, any damage like that. What I wanna do is I wanna do like decaying skin. Uh, I want right here, the tooth cylinder. Think of like the way your teeth are in your own mouth. And for me, I got some baby fat on my face. Like I got a, I got a round face, so you don't see a lot of the tooth cylinder for me. Um, obviously you see it because we're all people and you can see it, but someone who's really gaunt, you know, they will, you'll be able to see their cheekbones really hardcore. You'll see their zygomatic arch. 
Uh, and with zombies, they tend to be really gaunt, right? The idea is the fluid has kind of left their body a bit, so their skin is paper thin, etc. And so I'm going to play that up. Um, and I want to play up some of the teeth showing, honestly. So I am going to... I don't know what I can do here. And then same thing goes for the eyelids too. So I think I'm going to put a lot of damage or rotting away on this side of the face. And I am going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to almost make the... Uh, and this is just like sketching around, right? For ideas, it's not solidified yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lot of the eyelid away from this side and how would that eyeball look like? The eyeball would just be kind of... would look surprised kind of, right? Because his eyelid is missing. Cheekbone here. And right now I'm just placing stuff and then I'm going to go over it with a, a pen in a bit here. And then the other side I want it to be a little bit more normal. Like maybe the worms or something got to it, you know? And then it only got to like this, this side of his face. And then the other side's gonna have more of a normal eyeball. Maybe even an eyebrow. The nose is cartilage, so the nose is probably gonna be gone, I would say. Uh, I mean, the, the, at least the tip of it, the cartilage is really gonna be nasty. So that, that, I think that's, isn't that one of the first things to go, the cartilage? That's why when you find sharks, you they're almost entirely cartilage, right? Except for their mouth area. So like when they find sharks, uh, they usually just find their mouth area. Like the Megalodon, they only found that mouth portion of it, you know? But So stuff like that. So have kind of an open, almost skull-like in that nose area. Again, still just sketching around, not putting down anything permanent quite yet. Gaunt here, tooth cylinder. Down to the chin. I want some of these teeth showing. Might be cheating on that, but I really want some of these teeth. I want the lips on the left side here. Like the lips are kinda there, but then I want that to quickly turn into all you see is the teeth. And again, just sketching around for placement, purely placement, okay? And I will re-talk about all this stuff as I go on with pen. If you guys are uh, hopefully kind of learning a little bit, uh, please hit that like button uh, so I know kind of what you like, you know? Because some people like the very, like this, talk heavy, kind of the talk heavy learning, and some people more or less learn visually, and they're just like, shut up and draw, you know? So, it's, you know, like I said, if you do like the talky one, like I'm talking a lot right now, really trying to go over what I'm thinking, like hit that like button for sure. So then I'll really know what to dig into for next videos. I'm going to make the guy bald as more of a way just to kind of, I would say cheat. Not just because the hair is going to be all nasty anyway, but uh, I'd rather just kind of make him bald, honestly. It's a cool look. There's a sheath of muscle right here under the face called, his, uh, I think it's a frontalis, and then I think there's a temporalis on the side here. The ear is cartilage too, so honestly that'll probably come off, but I don't know, I just, I really want to keep it on there for the sake of, I mean, it'll probably just be messed up, really. I just want to keep it on there. I, I feel like, I, I don't know, just for this design I would like to keep it on. Neck pretty skinny. And then you got the Adam's apple area down here. Okay, that is my scratchy under, essentially under sketch, you know, quick sketch. So I'm gonna go in, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a Micron. Microns are amazing, get one. Get a batch, I mean, of different size Microns. And I am, actually I'm gonna grab a big one. But these Pigma Microns are like a must if you like inking and stuff like that. I think they're amazing, but you know, it's just me, just me, you know. Some people disagree, I'm sure. Um, and I'm gonna go in here and essentially kind of do a lot of the outer line stuff. I'm not gonna go into massive detail quite yet, but I am going to 
outline things again more for placement but this time remembering that the pen the obviously this is permanent so this will stay there but I don't have to go into shading or anything like that quite yet like at least in any major uh, any major degree you know I remember one time this person got really mad at me because I forgot the name of this white part of the eye the sclera, right? I just completely forgot it, and I don't know why this guy freaked out um, during some sort of like, I think it was a live feed or something, but I'll never forget that. That was like a long time ago. I'll never forget the sclera, right? Going over here again, go to the nasal cavity. Remember that, you know, it's really like half, you know, think of a skull, right? That part of it is, you know, the nasal cavity. There's a little bit of a bone, and then it goes off into cartilage. That's why you have so many variations on, um, like really wild variations on the mouth. Not, not sorry, the mouth, the nose. Obviously, the mouth too, but because uh, mouth is really just skin. But I meant like on the nose. There's so many wild variations on that, as opposed to like. I mean, eyes for sure. There are distances and stuff like, but that's like bone. You know, that's not. There's not a ton a variation on, on the placement. It's just really far or close for the most part, but the nose has like upturned, you know, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Going over here, more or less, just making the left side a regular portrait, really the far side here. Going down over here. Again, not going super in detail. Just some general, general idea. Run half the mouth. He might look like Two Face. I gotta. Well, actually, no. Two Face had a nose, right? So. Or did he have a nose? In the Dark Knight? I can't remember if Two Face had a nose in the Dark Knight. Right now he's definitely looking like Two Face from the Dark Knight. Maybe I can just retitle the video. Two Face from the Dark Knight. Just kind of like cut the audio. <laughs> Going over here to skin area. And now I'm going to go right here. Trace the outline of the teeth. I want this black section, this dark section here. Go to the ear. Again, mostly doing the line art version of everything I'm doing here, just the line, line area. Down to the neck. Back of the neck. Maybe I'll throw a little bumps in the back, like the vertebrae is slightly showing because uh, you know, losing liquid from the body. All right, and then also I forgot the front of the forehead. I want that to be kinda weird looking. Okay, so we got the inks that will give us placement. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going with an eraser. I really need a needed eraser. I don't have that right now. But I'm gonna go with this eraser. Just kind of getting rid of all the lines here. Sorry if this is boring. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Another thing is I am probably going to develop a uh, product pretty soon, like an ebook to help people out with uh, something that I get asked, maybe more than anything, uh, would be drawing hands. 
I want to make an ebook, like a kind of epic freaking ebook, uh, just to really, really, really hammer explain the hands thing because that's such an issue. Um, but what are your top two questions about hands? You know, about drawing hands. If you need help, if you're already a hand expert, boom, don't worry about it. But I meant, what is it that you're having issues on, and when it comes to drawing hands? So just like top two, give me, give me that in the comment section because that'll really help out. Okay, that's most of them erased. I was gonna say deleted. I'm losing the computer too much, but uh, we got that. Now I'm gonna do is I am gonna probably go in more to those teeth. These teeth are kind of jacked. They're not even there, so I gotta like put them in. Going in here. Fill in this dark here. Fill in this dark area. Probably should have had a bigger brush pen here. I do have this massive one, but I think it's too big for that. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go into small details of the face. Well, kind of small, smaller details than I was going into. So I'm gonna go to the under part of the mouth here that exists. I forget you call that the jowls or something. I cannot remember the name of that. Maybe the butt of the chin there, or the cleft. This sounds like a cleft. I'm gonna put some darks here in that needle cavity because it should be dark. Not totally, not totally dark. I am gonna put some more kinda bags into the eyes of of this like screwed up eyeball over here. Bridge of the nose here, throwing some lines for the bridge of the nose. Far side eye, putting in some kind of darks here to really kind of set it into the eyeball, you know, set it into the eye socket. Between the eye over here, there's obviously going to be some damage or some furrowing of the eyeball. Throwing tiny nicked lines, so we're getting into a little bit more detail here. And every now and then, what I'll do is I'll give it a little dot, a little dot here and there, because it makes it look grimy, and you know, and uh, it just kind of makes it look better. Those are minor details you normally put at the end, but I'm just kind of messing with it now. Going over here to the Scalera. Putting in uh, some small lines just to show some some uh, what do you call it? some dimension to that. Throw in some lines, and that's supposed to show the striations in that muscle in there on the frontalis. And then probably do the same thing for the side here, the temporalis. Connecting the zygomatic arch to the back. Uh, briefly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this pretty big marker, and this is a Faber uh, Faber Castell PITT artist pen. 
Normally I use it to draw like caricatures and, and kids drawings. Uh, but I'm gonna use this because there's a large area here and I wanna throw some shadow underneath the neck because the light source is gonna be coming from above in this. Um, but yeah, just gonna put some stuff there and I might, I might even do it a little bit more. So at this point, I have like placement down and what I can do is, and, and you're gonna get to the stage as well, you can kind of just kick back and you can throw tiny details, especially something like with a zombie. It's so much fun to do that. You're just like, okay, I can kick back and think of little nicks, little marks here and there and like you can kind of either work it or overwork it uh, as much as you want. And there's not a lot of wrong answer. That's why zombies are so fun to draw. You know, you can just say, ah, it's damage. It's damage. You know, what, what will, where will the bone show? Where would the muscle be like rotting away? But the cool part is it's kind of up to you and, and I love that part of it. Be careful not to throw too many dots. Um, it will overwhelm it, unless you're actually stippling, and I guess you could kind of do that. All right, so let's keep going in here. And at this point, I'm just kind of sharpening edges, throwing in tiny darks. I'm really just kind of like working on like very uh, small to large details and this is kind of where again style will kick in I know people say stuff like you know oh that's just my style to do it this way and you know I think honestly sometimes it's just an excuse um, you know when people say that sometimes it's just a bad drawing and they'll be like oh it's just my style like that's just an excuse though but I think when style uh, usually what that's for is it's kind of like you'll structurally have a very, you know, structurally safe drawing. It's just the way you went about it's differently or the lines that you used are a little bit different. They're more like personal taste. Um, or, or the structure is different, you know, like maybe it's more cartoony, but it's still a solid structure because even cartoons have a very, very solid structure to it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. That's pretty much it. Um, throw kind of a do what I do sometimes I throw a thick uh, line around the edges because I want it to you know be very obvious That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd like to hear them out. Uh, also, like I said, give me some feedback. Uh, what are two major questions you have about drawing hands? Uh, and if, if you haven't gotten it, I believe in the last video I put a, a link to a free ebook on how to shade. That's totally free. It gives you kind of the basic of shading. You just have it in an ebook. So thank you guys. I will see you in the next video and talk to you soon.